Ave. Question. What is the difference between dollar URI and dollar URI underscore ref? Your answer should be dollar URI shows the word link dollar URI underscore ref shows the display value of the record as the link text. Question. How to stop running background script? Your answer should be Open all active transactions under user administration and you can kill the running transactions. Question. Which object is used to refer the current logged in user in client script? Your answer should be. You can use the object g underscore user object to get the details of current active user. Question. State the best practices of client scripts. Your answer should be, few of the best practices to use client scripts, in close code in functions. Obviate DOM manipulation, use G underscore form object. Avoid global client scripting, etc. Question, how will you hide slash show a field using client script? Your answer should be, you can use the g underscore form dot set visible, field name, value, method to show slash hide a field using client script. Question, what do you mean by metrics in Servica now? Your answer should be, metrics record and measure the workflow of individual records. With metrics, customers can arm their process by providing tangible figures to measure. For example, how long it takes before a ticket is reassigned or changes state. If you find this content helpful then please like and subscribe. We wish you all the best. Question. Define ServiceNow. ServiceNow is an IT management tool that allows organizations to manage all aspects of their IT infrastructure including asset management. IT service management, incident management, problem management, change management, etc., CMDB, etc. Question, what are captured in update sets? Your answer should be, following are captured in update sets, 1. Business rules, 2. Client scripts, 3. Fields Forms and Forms Sections 4 Reports 5 Tables and Views 6 Workflows Question, how can you capture data records in update set? Your answer should be, data records can be captured, but you have to do it explicitly. From a list Check your records and then use the list UI action option create application file. Question. What is the condition to check which records will be captured within an update set? Your answer should be. The condition is update underscore sync equals true. Navigate to the SYS underscore dictionary. Personalize the list to include the attributes column. Filter on attributes is update underscore sync equals true. Question. How to move customization to another update set without merging them? Your answer should be. To move the customization. Open SYS underscore update underscore XML table and update the update underscore set field with correct update set. Question. Define workflow scratch pad. Your answer should be, the scratch pad in workflow is a space in the workflow context to store and share string-based variables between instances of activities within an executing instance of a workflow. Or, the scratch pad is a special field on a workflow context that allows workflow activities to communicate data to subsequent activities. Or, the workflow scratch pad is used to store data during the execution of a workflow. Values in the scratch pad can be set and slash or accessed by any activity in the workflow. Or the scratch pad is global to the instance of the running workflow and as such, 
is available equally to all activities. Or using the scratch pad requires at least two activities in a workflow, the sending activity which writes data to the scratch pad, and the follow-up activity which uses this data. Or the scratch pad can hold variables of any JavaScript data type that can be represented as JSON. Or you cannot add functions or scriptable Java objects, such as glide record, to the scratch pad. Question, how can we declare workflow scratch pad? Your answer should be, the scratch pad itself is automatically available to an executing workflow and requires no specific declaration. Variables are declared and stored in the scratch pad simultaneously by referencing it. Workflow.scratchpad.variable name equals variable value, or var my value equals workflow.scratchpad.variable name. Question List of data types stored by Workflow Scratch Pad? Your answer should be the Workflow Scratch Pad can store multiple data types primitive, integers, Boolean values, or strings. JavaScript object, user data, scriptable Java objects, glide record or glide date time. Question, what is the difference between G underscore scratch pad and glide Ajax? Your answer should be, the primary difference between these methods is that G underscore scratch pad is sent once when a form is loaded, information is pushed from the server to the client whereas Glide Ajax is dynamically triggered when the client requests information from the server. Other methods, Glide Record and G underscore form dot get reference, are also available for retrieving server information. However, these methods are no longer recommended due to their performance impact. Both methods retrieve all fields in the requested glide record when most cases only require one field.